Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 71 of the FIFA 18 My Player Career and a quick look then at the league table. As you can see there, we are currently 14 points clear um, above Southampton of all teams. Uh, it looks like Aston Villa, QPR and Sunderland are going to be the ones going down unless Sunderland can try and fight their way to some kind of safety. I don't think they're going to be able to do that. But let's get into the action. And the first game of the day then for Manchester United is an away one. We are travelling down to London to take on Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium. Now hopefully we can get the victory, of course, a few wins away and we will be confirmed as the Premier League champions. Let's see how we get on. Fingers crossed we can get off to a good start here in London. Uh, but right away, it is Arsenal who have a free kick. So two minutes in. And somebody get the ball. I don't know where that player got that ball from, but onwards we go. Free kick is taken. Short one. Kai already applying the pressure here. We can try and get ourselves an early goal. That would be a great way to start today's episode. Almost finding its way through there. Would have been a nice assist if it had gone all the way through there to Mbappe. But Arsenal back in possession. Again, a nice little interception there from Kai. And we started off pretty well. Try and get a shot on target if we can. That will be an even better start. Here is Kai laying it off there in the middle. Carries on his run himself. He's going to hit it. He does hit it. And a poor effort there. And really should have done better. But onwards we go then. Less than 10 minutes played here. Still 0-0 here at the Emirates Stadium. As Arsenal are the ones pressing forward this time. Good little passing play here for Arsenal. Or are they going to get past their defence? Hopefully not. And he's in possession right now. Savic. Played forward there for Lacazette. Nice little one-two. The shot comes in. And a good save there from the Manchester United goalkeeper David De Gea. He keeps it out, pushes it out wide for a corner. Corner taken short here by Arsenal. Nice bit of skill there. Trying to open up some space to get the cross in. It's forced to go backwards though. Played inside and that one was a shot but wide of the United goal, thankfully for us. So into the second half we go now then and it is still goalless here at the Emirates Stadium as Kai powers his way all the way through the midfield into the area and tried to play it across the six-yard box. But the goalkeeper reads that one easily and it is Rico who makes the easy save in the end there for Arsenal. Just over an hour gone, and Manchester United back, pushing forward, trying to get the attack on here with Kai. He needs to do a skill move. He does. He opens up the space. He takes the low-driven shot, nicely finessed into that bottom corner, and finally the deadlock has been broken. It's now Arsenal nil, Manchester United 1. Kai getting the only goal of the game so far. I think we were ant anticipating that little skill move there. It opened up nicely for him. Uh, the AI defence always get um, done by that kind of move. And that is the first goal of the game. 20th Premier League goal of the season for Kai. Absolutely superb numbers there for him. For saying he's only a cam as well. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how many goals we can get once we are as a main striker. If we do start a new My Player career, we'll be as a striker. So, as I said, it'll be interesting to see how many goals we can get playing in the front attack. Yeah, but right now, we're into the final minute here at the Emirates. And it's still 1-0 here to Manchester United. The final whistle blows. Uh, things are looking good then. As the players celebrate there. A nice three points. The manager's shaking hands, as I said. A nice three points there for United. That keeps us firmly at the top of the table. We've got three games remaining in April. Then we've got a bunch of Premier League games to end the season in May. Uh, but next up is the second leg of the Champions League against Chelsea. Uh, we're going to be starting that one shortly and then we will be ending today's episode with the FA Cup semi-final match taking on Stoke City, which is, of course, at Wembley Stadium. So, if you remember in the last episode, we beat Chelsea two goals to nil in the first leg. They were late away goals as well, so we have a big advantage going into the second leg. Hopefully, we can get the job done, stay focused, and try and get ourselves an early goal. Give us that huge three-goal advantage early on. That would be absolutely fantastic for us. Uh, but right now, it is Chelsea in possession. They get the game started here at Old Trafford. They really need to get themselves the first goal of the match if they can. If they're going to have anything, uh, any chance even, of getting themselves back into this tie. But right now, it's Kai actually who's pushing his way through here. Plays inside there for Mbappe. Kai tries to steal it off him. Decides against it. Mbappe finds Kai just inside the area. A nice little bit of skill there from Kai, keeping possession here for United, just outside the Chelsea area. Fellaini just plays it forward there. Now Kai has a shot and just wide of the Chelsea goal. Good early start here for Manchester United. Chelsea 
Looking a little bit shaky at the back. Letting Manchester United just pass it all the way through. Goalkeeper had that shot covered. Um, but it's still nice to get the effort on. And a good early start there for Kai and for United. A 7.2 rating so far for the young Englishman. And here he is again in possession. Trying to play it into the Chelsea half. He goes all the way in through himself, in fact. And now Mbappe to Kai. Kai onto that far side for Martial. Martial again finds Kai in the middle. And there is Kylian Mbappe. Is he going to run through himself? No, he sees the run of Kai. Surely this is going to break the deadlock. It does indeed. And less than 15 minutes played here at Old Trafford. And Manchester United have taken the one goal lead. That, of course, gives us a nice three goal advantage in the semi final tie. And I think that goal there might just be the goal that gets us into the Champions League final. That's his ninth Champions League goal of the season then for Kai. As I said, he's in insane numbers right now. He's got 20 goals in the Premier League, almost 10 in the Champions League. And we've still got the FA Cup as well to play. So hopefully he can get a bunch of goals in that. And we're pushing forward here, looking for a second of the game. Right now, Chelsea need to score three goals to progress through to the next round. Are they going to find any as of as we're speaking right now? It doesn't look like it because Kai, he's just buried another. Two goals to nil. And that there, I think that is going to wrap up the game then. Four goals to nil. Chelsea need four goals. Less than half an hour gone. Well, just over half an hour gone now, sorry. And it is Manchester United 2, Chelsea nil. Four nil on aggregate. And nice finish there. The low driven shot once again. And that is Kai's 10th Champions League goal of the season. And now Chelsea don't have long to try and get themselves anything from this game. They've got to score four. But right now it's Manchester United looking for a third in this game alone, which will be the fifth on aggregate. Can we get this, this third goal? Sorry. Here is Martial. And wow, Kai's just banged his hat trick. Can you believe it? Out of nowhere, we've just kicked off the second half. And on the night, it's Manchester United 3, Chelsea 0. 5-0 now on aggregate. It feels like Chelsea have just given up, haven't they? What an effort this was. Uh, boom. Controlled it just inside the area. Goalkeeper didn't stand a chance. Too much power on it. And that is his 11th goal of the season then in Europe. And absolutely outstanding performance here today from Manchester United and from Kai. You're looking for even more goals here. Kai tries to play across the middle. Don't know why it goes outside the area there. He tried to play the simple ball across towards Mbappe. Somehow it goes out of the area and probably that was the last chance for United to get the fourth. Uh, there is the, oh no, I was going to say that's the final whistle for a second. I thought it was, but it's a free kick here for Chelsea. There is going to be a late change for both sides. Not going to really have much impact either of those changes. And uh, Just wasting a little bit of time really. And now we just wait for that final whistle to blow. And there it is. Manchester United progress through to the final of the Champions League. Very exciting to see who we get in the next round of the competition. But a hat-trick there for Kai. Superb performance from him. Manchester United progress through. And, oh no, that was a quarter-finals. Damn. So there we go. That was a quarter-finals. That gets us into the semi-finals. Uh, because it's so late in the season, I actually thought that that was the semis. Uh, but we're into the semis now. Uh, it be interesting to see who we get. We'll have to have a look at that maybe in tomorrow's episode. Uh, but let's finish off today's video with another um, cup game. This one is, is is in the FA Cup semi-finals. Now, I think this is definitely in the semi-finals. Uh, so let's see how we get on today. Try and grab ourselves the early goal. That is the main aim um, straight away. It settles our nerves and then we can push forward to try and get as many goals as possible. And it's looking good so far actually here at Wembley Stadium. Already on the attack. Kai got a hat-trick in the last game against Chelsea. Can he match it today? He did take over the match ball as well, of course. His shot there, just blocked by the Stoke defence. Stoke always a tough team to play. Um, always solid in defence. Well, I, don't, I say always. They're always causing trouble, at least. And they can defend when they decide to do so. But right now, it's Manchester United on the attack. Kai runs through. Chance and in off the crossbar, I think that was. Or into the roof of the net. It is Manchester United who lead already. Less than eight minutes played here at Wembley Stadium. It's Manchester United 1, Stoke City 0. Did it hit the crossbar? Yeah, I think it did hit the crossbar and bounce into the back of the net. So, second FA Cup goal of the season. And he wants to improve that tally, of course. And uh, the most important thing, really, is just to get us into the final. And another... Visit to Wembley Stadium and Kai does win possession there. 
It was bouncing around, but Manchester United come out with the possession, playing it straight through the middle. Here is Kayet again. Already got one goal. Can he get another? Nicely played here for Anthony Marshall. He's going all the way himself, and he places it past the keeper. As cool as you like, the Frenchman, he doubles Manchester United's lead. 12 and a half minutes gone here at Wembley Stadium. It is Manchester United 2, Stoke City 0. Uh, will Stoke um, do anything to get themselves back into this game? It's not looking good for them right now. Horrible start for them, but what a nice finish that was for Marshall. That's his second FA Cup goal of the season. And we're pushing forward here, trying to grab ourselves a third before the half-time whistle blows. But right now, it's Stoke who are on the attack. Good defensive play there from United, getting the ball back. Here is Kai, just lays off, actually laying it off. He's giving it away, and a chance here. That's beautifully played through. Kingsley Common, oh, his first shot is blocked. His second shot is not, and Stoke City, just before half-time, in fact, on the stroke half-time, they've pulled a goal back. Perfect time for them to score a goal, actually. Now, you know the manager is going to be talking to them when they go in at half-time, trying to get them to start off the second half the way that they've ended this first and unlucky there, David De Gea's first shot was saved, but he couldn't hold on to the ball. And Kingsley Common, the fastest to react. That's his fourth FA Cup goal of the season. And Stoke are back in the game, but right now it's Manchester United in possession. Good little interception there by Stoke, though. And again, they're on the attack. Kylo plays it forward here for Mbappe. Good patient play here from United. A bit of space open up on this near side, and the shot comes in to the top corner. And that one from Andre Schürrle, surely he's going to wrap up the game now. Less than an hour gone, it's Manchester United 3, Stoke City 1. We've got the two-goal advantage back, and hopefully we can push on now, try and get a fourth. But unlucky there, and there was a massive gap open. Look at the defence, just stroll straight across the middle, opening it up for Kai to play the nice little ball in there for Schürrle. Goalkeeper, didn't stand a chance, top corner. Beautifully flanessed, and it's his first FA Cup goal of the season then for Andre Schürrler. As we do move on, Manchester United just losing out there, but they've won themselves a free kick. Try and swing this free kick into a dangerous area, and you never know what could happen. Funnily enough, though, it's Kai who takes it, he takes it short. Is he going to ask for it back? Not right now, because he's running all the way through here. Mbappe shoots, and what a goal that is. He held up the play. Hold it, um, held up the defender off him to stay away from him and then he just whacked it into the back of the net and Manchester United, they've scored four, Stoke have won, just over an hour played and I think that is going to be game over now. Pretty much guaranteed that there is going to be another Wembley visit here for Manchester United which will be in the FA Cup final and hopefully it will be another successful season and another trophy of course. Well, right now, Stoker on the attack, looking to get themselves maybe one last chance to get themselves anything from this game. The shot comes in, goalkeeper makes a save. Less than five minutes to play here at Wembley Stadium. Manchester United still leading by four goals to one. Nicely played forward there by David De Gea. Kai just inside his own half. Here's Paul Pogba out onto that far side. Kai's pushing forward here, playing more like a striker. Pogba finds Kai, just laid off there. And again, Kai passes across the middle and the first time effort there from Kylian Mbappe. A minute to play. Manchester United have got the fifth goal and another assist as well there from Kai. I think that is a hat-trick of assists. I could be wrong, but I think that is a hat-trick of assists. He's already got one goal as well himself. So another man-of-the-match performance from Kai. And what a volley that was from the young Frenchman. Manchester United 5, Stoke City 1. Now we'll just wait for that final whistle. That will confirm us as uh, another FA Cup finalist. And what a finish that is. Great goal. That's his fourth FA Cup goal of the season. So now we're just waiting for the final whistle to blow. A nice 5-1 victory here from United. And maybe time here actually for a 6. Is it even going to be possible? Kai just loses out, but he does win it back. Good play there from Kai. Finds his teammates somehow. Now Pogba. Kylian Mbappe plays it through for Kai and he slides in somehow. He gets the shot off. He got it on target across Jack Butland. And Manchester United have scored a six in the dying minutes of the game. Uh, out of nowhere, really, this one. Look at that nice little ball there from Mbappe. And uh, that's his second goal of the game. Three assists, two goals. Absolutely superb performance here from Kai. That's his third FA Cup goal of the season. And now we really must be out of time. The final whistle's got to blow any second now. What a performance this has been. 
We're into the semi-finals of the Champions League. Now we're into the final of the FA Cup. We already looked like we're going to be the Premier League champions. So what a season this has been so far. A 9.4 final match rating there for Kai. There is confirmation. He did get three assists, two goals as well. And just before we do end today's episode, they can see we are into the final where we will be taking on either Chelsea or Swansea City.